That is unique. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, what's going on? Hello! Hey. Welcome back to our channel! My name is Harry Jane. If you're just new here, and this is my husband, Dominic. Husband. So, for today's video, guys, uh, we have a new challenge. Actually, it's not a challenge, it's a. I don't even know what I'd call it. It's exploration. A... Yeah. Like, <laughs> both of us will gonna do a exploration for tonight. And what we're gonna do, babe? I've chosen three alcoholic beverages that I want Herdine to try. Yeah. Not because I've tried them a lot. Uh, we just wanted to explore some cocktails that we both haven't really had. But I got to choose one that I know I'd like uh, because it's like bourbon based or something. And Herdine chose three drinks for me as well to try. So we're gonna start now. And Dominic is gonna be the first bartender for tonight. And guys, please don't judge us <laughs> because we're just doing the experiment and we're not professional bartender, okay? I will so, be. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're waiting for? Let's Hello. Start. So for our first drink, it's actually hard to pronounce. It's Boulevardier. That's the drink that I'm making here, Gene. So for the ingredients, we got our bourbon, Campari, and sweet vermouth, along with an orange. Simple as that, and then you got some ice. So it's gonna end up in this glass. We do all the mixing in this glass. Simple enough. So first thing is the bourbon. We're using uh, tablespoons, so one of these equals half an ounce, and we need three ounces, or just under three ounces. So I'm gonna end up putting six of these into the mixer glass. This isn't a proper mixer glass, this is just the glass we have. So, we're starting with that. One, six, there we go. That's the start. Okay. That's three ounces of bourbon. One ounce of Campari. So, and again, this equals half an ounce. Or one tablespoon equals half an ounce, so it's gonna be two of these, which is just one ounce. One. And then we have sweet one ounce of sweet vermouth. vermouth. So again, one ounce is two of these. That's what we're gonna do. I feel like it's hard for me later to convert. <laughs> I hate math. <laughs> Dripping it there. Boom. We have this contraption called a fork. Super simple. All there is is an ice cube in there. That's just meant to make it cold along the way, according to the experts. <laughs> according to the Google? According to the Google experts. <laughs> <laughs> and after I feel good and mixed, all I have is an ice cube in there. This is my brewing glass. So on the new glass, you have the fresh cube. Ice cube. That's right. There it is. Actually, I lied. <laughs> you forgot the garnish. <laughs> I forgot. The oh my god. I know. First right. drink. Ink. <laughs> Rub it around the rim. I guess. So that one is just to make it and then you smell like orange bit. yeah i mean i'm sure the the oils in there add flavor but voila drink number two it is a new york sour okay and so new york sour new york sour yep yeah. and then for that cocktail you need bourbon we need red wine lemon juice they say freshly squeezed lemon but we're cheap we got this and simple syrup. 
Actually, we have fresh lemon. We do, but... <laughs> you just don't want easy. to squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. See? It's I can't see easy. from here. I am the You bartender. see that? You see that lemon? This lemon here? Yeah. yeah does it look squeezed? <laughs> You just don't want to squeeze. That's right, that's right. And then we need ice in the glass that we're going to put it in. And this is the glass for mixing stuff up. Okay. In. Technically, you need a shaker bottle for this one, but we're not really going to do that. So, first thing, mix our glass. There's going to be two ounces of bourbon. So, again, two of these equals one ounce. So, I'll need four of these, which is just two ounces. I have to convert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, making me drunk, huh? Yeah, you have a plan, strong. huh? <laughs> a little extra strong. All right. <laughs> Next is one ounce of lemon juice. Next, we need three fourths ounces of simple syrup. Which is going to be one and a half of these. Boom. Technically, you can add egg whites to this, but I've done that before. You've had it before, I think. Oh, I don't like. I think, I'm not going to add egg whites. Okay. Next. This is the glass it's going to be going in. Putting that down here. Take the strainer just to keep the ice cube out. So you got a fresh ice cube in there. Next step is half an ounce of red wine. Okay. We just chose, there might be a specific red wine you're supposed to do, um, but we're just choosing Harrigan's favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. favorite. Cool. So I'm at least going to pour the half ounce first. Cool. You're supposed to pour on the back of a spoon so that way it doesn't drop in directly. <laughs> so that way oh. the layer stays on top and it doesn't break through the bottom as oh, much. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you see that guys, is the red wine is floating, floating on the just top. on the top. That's right. That's cool. So the third drink is a gold rush. So gold rush? Gold rush, yes. So it's the first time I hear that. Yeah. So this one is again bourbon. Um, it's going to be lemon juice, honey syrup, and actual lemon. So that is what we have here. So we'll start with the mixer glass, and then we'll end up in this glass, each with their own ice cube. First is two ounces of bourbon. So again, two of these equal one ounce. So we're gonna put four of these in there, but it is just two ounces. All right. All right, that's two ounces of bourbon. And we need one ounce of honey syrup, which is two of these, be one ounce. Cool. That's where it gets the gold part of the gold rush. So let's make it gold yeah. because of the honey. I think so. Three fourth ounces of lemon juice. Cool. So now. This is supposed to be a mixing glass. We don't have one, so I'm fork mixing, which is probably breaking the rules of the bartending. But I'll do this All right. second. Then, here's the glass it's going into. Strainer, drink, slide it on in, and you try not to spill. See the gold look? My final touch that I forgot on the first one is the lemon peel garnish. Again, go around the rim with it a little bit. I like to squeeze it so it kind of gets some of the oils out. And you drop it on in. Voila. And my friends, that is a gold rush. That's the gold rush. And Hair Jean's going to give a shot.
I am nervous. I'm excited because it's gonna be my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. It's a trial and error, so don't judge me. Especially to all my friends from NCL, our bartender friends. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so first thing first. Um, so this is um, since we don't have cocktail shaker. So I'll just put here on the glass with one cube of ice. So what I'm trying to do is four ounces of vodka. So since we don't have um, ounce measuring, so we're going to use a tablespoon. So one ounce is equivalent to two tablespoons. So I'll just times two. So it's going to be eight of eight tablespoon of vodka. Well, show us the rest of your ingredients first. Ah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're doing good. By the way, my first cocktail is going to be screwdriver. First main ingredients, the base is vodka. And we have here the orange juice. And yeah, orange, slice orange for the garnish. So that's it, simple. Of course, I don't want to give hard time for myself. <laughs> this is smart thing to do. All right, so I'm gonna measure now. Eight tablespoon. It's equivalent to four ounces. Okay, eight. eight. That's eight. Okay. Yeah. And then orange juice. One hundred percent orange juice. Is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> Orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here guys, if you want your screwdriver to be more stronger, so you're gonna put more vodka and just less with the orange juice. But of course, if you're just a light drinker, so just um, put less of the vodka and then more of orange juice so that you will not feel that you're getting drunk already. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be orange juice. All right, and I'm gonna stir it up. All right, so if you think that you already mix it well, so you're gonna try to pour it whatever glass you prefer to serve. Ooh. Perfect. Not a single <laughs> drop was wasted. So messy. <laughs> Dominic used to it already. <laughs> yeah, I hate always pouring. Yeah, it's okay. You did good. It looks great. Just nice. don't mind of the waste one. Okay? That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So for the last one, guys, is our garnish. So I'm gonna use a sliced orange. Ooh, I want this every morning for breakfast. Yes, <laughs> ready. And here's Hair Jean's masterpiece, number one. I'm so fancy, I love it. <laughs> and for the second cocktail, I prepare, I will prepare a Bloody Mary. So Bloody Mary, guys, is one of the famous cocktail, um, especially in the morning. And especially for those people who have hangover. Nice. Yeah, so that's the secret. First, uh, you can choose either you can put a salt on the rim of your glasses or not. So, whatever you want. But, I want salt. Yeah, so Dominic <laughs> wants salt. So, I'm gonna dip it first into the salt. Thank you, thank you. So, here you go, guys. Nice. So, it's with salt already. So, yeah, I'm gonna start it now. So the ingredients, yes. Um, actually, this is the real ingredients if you want to start in a scratch or to make it from scratch. So first, um, for the garnish, you need a lemon wedge, lime wedge, um, celery stalk, parsley spring, green olives, and yeah, that's for the garnish. And for the ingredients, uh, you have a vodka, tomato juice, Tabasco for spices, um, horseradish, Worcestershire sauce, celery salt, crown black pepper, one pinch smoked paprika, 
and etc. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so that's the ingredients. So it's a lot, right? So if you want to make yourself um, easy or if you want to make your job easier so you can go to a supermarket and just buy the ready mix bloody mary so um me and dominic both mr and mr uh, mr mr <laughs> what sorry mr and mrs so that's the name of the bloody mary mix and yeah it's a ready mix guys the first step it's gonna be four ounces of this Bloody Mary mix. All right, so we need to measure it again. But if you're just for family, you know, drink, it's not a business one. So you can just pour whatever you want in there, you know. So I need eight of this because I need four oats. All right, so after you put a eight ounce of um, Bloody Mary mix in here, guys, now we need the vodka and for the vodka we need two uh we need one oat so i need two tablespoon since i love dominic i'm gonna make it <laughs> three i'm gonna say is there almost no alcohol in there yeah because two tablespoon for dominic is not nothing so i want to make him drunk what <laughs> well thank you all right, Sounds so good. that's it guys. And then you're gonna stir it to mix. And then you're gonna put the ice cube. Voila. And yeah, the garnish is gonna be celery. And then some li uh, lime wedges. But since I already cut it guys into wheel, so it's fine. It works. Yeah, it works. And but I still get my lemon wedge. And so. I got a olives. So the olives, since we don't have like longer stick, you know, so I'm gonna use the toothpick. Alright. Alright, so Bloody Mary is ready to serve. <laughs> You're By the way, guys, thank you so much for watching our video. And for those people who just new here in our channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you like more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to get more updated with our new videos. And yeah. So my third cocktail, it's going to be a red sangria since I like red wine. So yeah, I decided to make a red sangria. All right, so the main ingredients. First, it's going to be, of course, the red wine. So you can choose any types of red it's wine. A wine glass and then two cubes of ice in here. And I made a sliced fruit which is orange and um, apple so I slice it into small pieces but it's up to you if how you're gonna cut it but it's better smaller because it's gonna be more fruity so that's it right. that's so it. I'm gonna pour red wine here on the wine glass with a two cubes of ice So that's the proper pouring of wine glass. Ooh. Oh, I so learned your that. fine dining yes. technique. Hello to my friends, Cagney's team. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so this is all the wine glass, uh, the wines now. And the last thing you're gonna do, just put the mixed fruits in here. So yeah. But anyway, if you have um, fruit juices, guys, it's much better. You're gonna put it in here also. So that it's gonna be more fruity. Oh, you're smiling though. No, I was watching all the fruit going in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to put by me the, on a alcohol way, guys, diet? Street, the reason why I made um, Bloody Mary because Dominic's hate tomato. Oh, that's why? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like tomato. 
Wait, so I want him to suffer. Ouch, and I understand it's now. Not the fun of fruits, so that's why I choose red sangria with some fruits. This is horrible. Yeah. I chose things I knew you would like. <laughs> no, but by the way, I like this as well. But since, of course, we're different, you know, so <laughs> you like something that I don't like. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so if I don't like it, you get to drink all of them. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that's it. And for the garnish, so I want to make it um, more beautiful. So I'm going to use the orange for that. Nice. All right, so here guys, this is the red sangria. Yes, I put a lot of fruit. Hello. Hey, time to test the drink. Yes. Yeah, mine are all fruity. So, and hers are all really good. I mean, they all have bourbon. This is all the finished product that we made. And yeah, this is all Dominic's stuff. And this is the one I made. So Dominic first gonna explain what he made. Again? Yeah, just shortcut. Sure full man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a Boulevardier, New York Sour, Gold Rush. And Gold Rush. Yep. Okay, so gonna... yeah, so I'm the one who gonna taste all the one he made. All bourbon based. Yeah, all is bourbon based. I really want to drink all those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, this is the one I made for Dominic Rue Driver, Bloody Mary, and this is the Red Sangria. All right. So Dominic gonna drink first the first one I made, and I'm gonna drink also the first one that he made. So, which is the Jorba Charbonnet. <laughs> I don't know what's the name. Okay, cheers. Cheers. All right. Uh, alcohol. Yeah. I feel like if I finish what do you think? Hey, how do you this, like I get drunk. <laughs> How's it taste? It's not that strong. <laughs> yeah. I have no. How do you actually drink this? Like, what's the method here? Because you don't really got a good angle yeah some yeah. of the people i saw them because i'm not the fan of bloody mary as well you don't because... even like them <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't like tomato as well uh. so i saw people when they're drinking so they put it in there okay like you're gonna put the garnish i don't know guys huh? don't judge us because <laughs> we're just trying to experiment yeah just... so is this celery yeah some of the people eat celery, guys. That's true. I can't believe. <laughs> so that's my second um, cocktail mix, and Dominic is gonna be a New York sour. Right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Now, that one looks really good. <laughs> that is unique. <laughs> wow. Oh, my taste. Yeah, I don't want to ruin that last one for you. I just taste. <laughs> okay, good. Get a big gulp. Oh, yeah. One more. Yeah. Okay, come on, then I go, go again. That's bad. I feel like I'm gonna like it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go again. Yeah? I like it. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. I love your own. <laughs> yeah. You weird. don't like it? I mean, I do. I mean, it's it's unique. So, yeah. All right, move let's on try. to the third one. And this is the Sangria. Yeah, red, yeah. Sangria. red sangria. But if you have white wine, guys, you can do it also. They can, they call it white sangria. All right. All right. Cheers. So what is this, by the way? You remember? A gold rush. Gold rush. Yep. All right. So guys, cheers for nine hundred fifty subscribers. That's true. Yeah, yes. we reached nine fifty. Mm, thank yeah. you so much, and hope um, come a long way. Yes, support the honey po kami. And I hope you guys will support us for our journey and yeah, we we are very happy that you, we saw all your support in Billie Jean's vlog. And we're gonna effort and make more videos. Yeah, we'll keep <laughs> yeah. going. Yes, fun. For Billie Jean vlog families. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. Good. Uh, it's like wine. This yeah. is the one that's supposed to be with honey. Honey. Ah, this is the honey. honey and this one. is the, the one that's supposed to be with egg white, right? Correct. Ah, throat's still all weird from this one. It's like slimy. Mm. 
It was good though. It's like wine. I can really taste like the fruit, wine. actually. Yeah. No fruit? I mean, I, I can't taste it very much. It's good though. I like it. Of all three, oh. I'd like this one the most. I think so, because that's why you I've don't taste the fruit. fruity guys, because I read it should be with like fruity juice. Just try squeeze the orange. Right now? I'm yeah. okay with the way it is. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I just don't want yeah. to do to do it. I don't want my fingers in there. Yeah, it's gonna go. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what's your favorite? Probably the golden rush. That's gold rush, really. Because it's sweet. Yeah. And this. The Trouba Trouba Ness, and this is the last one. You don't like this one very much? I think so. Really? Yeah. I figured that one would be your favorite. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. And now you're mixing all the flavors. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be number one, number two, and the last. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so see? Not surprised. I've success. See the light like tomato. <laughs> <laughs> That's it guys. Yep. And yeah. So this is our cocktail experimenting vlog. Yes. And it worked out. That was good. Yeah. yeah. Well, we just want really to well. say thank you for all the people who are supporting the Belgian vlog. Um, especially to uh, Miss Janeline Sinina. Mm -hmm. Girl, thank you so much for supporting us. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And more birthdays to come and good health to yourself and to your family as well and hello and shout out to my family and cousins there in Santo Nino <laughs> ingat po kayo kamusta? yes kamusta keep safe guys and um, I just wanna shout out also all my high school friends the channels keep safe guys and for Joshua Omene Hello, shout out to you and thank you for supporting us as well. Thank you so much guys and if you, you wanna shout out also for our next video, just please comment down below and Dominic will do that. Just kidding. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed our video. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. See, ya. See you for our next video. Bye-bye.